Hello and welcome to this Open TX Quick Tip. Now I've already talked about an awful lot of the things that the radio will do as part of the pre-flight checks. So I've already talked about the checklist, I've already talked about the throttle warning and I've talked about the switch warning as well where you can actually decide how you want all the switches to be and to have a warning if they're not in the place that you need them for a particular model. The last one in this pre-flight check section is this one here called pot warning or potentiometer warning. Now potentiometers on the radio are these little twisty controls up here at the top. On something like this QX7 it has two. On the larger Tyrannus radios, the X9D, X9D Plus, it has four. It has little sliders in the corners as well. And again, you can set up a warning when the radio starts to let you know if there's a problem with those controls or they're out of position. Now, the three settings that you can have is off, which is the default, which it doesn't matter which position all of the sliders and rotating controls are in. Uh, it will always just start the radio without a warning. There's also one called manual and manual allows you to individually select the position of the controls so if i turn each of these controls down to their lowest possible position and then go across select manual press and hold switch one that's going to store the position press and hold switch two that's going to store that position and if i turn the radio off and if i just move one of the rotary controls out of the position that was stored next time it powers up i'm going to get a switch warning but this time it's letting me know that switch one is out of position and it's telling me which way to rotate it to get past the problem now that is quite handy if you maybe are using these for uh, particular settings or you always want to start with them in the middle position then that's a cute way to make sure that that always happens. Now there is one other way that you can set those up and that is to select automatic. So if I just go here and this time select auto then what auto will do it will remember the position of the rotary control from the last time and if it's moved it'll remember it. So let me just try this out. So what we're going to do, let's X exit. So at the moment we're going to have this control in the middle position, this control at the, let's have it in maximum position for a change. Let's turn the radio off and turn it on again. And because it's in the same position, it doesn't care. However, let's turn the radio off and pretend we've caught one of the knobs in the bag. If you pardon the phrase. Switch warning. Now I've got a switch warning. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, there's quite a few reasons. It might be that you're using one of these rotary controls or the sliders on a radio to control a global variable. You might have it uh, uh, setting up the amount of flap that you need, or you might have it set up controlling the amount of correction in the elevator on a plane. So when you deploy the flaps, the model maintains a straight and level flight. In those instances, when you turn the radio off, you want the radio to remember that position. And if that is set to automatic, then that is how it's going to work. It means next time you come to the radio, you can't, don't think, oh, blimey, where was that rotary switch? It's already saved along with the model memory. So hopefully that helps those of you that are interested in all of these little minutiae of the different menus. If there's part of the menu system that you don't understand, then let me know. But hopefully that's completely covered all of the pre-flight checks along with those other videos in the series. If you found that video useful or like the content, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you want to go the extra step, you can become a Patreon of the Painless 360 channel and help provide support for what I do here. All the videos created here are put into playlists, so if you're interested in a particular topic, have a look at the playlist, and they all are organised in there to make them easier to use. 
If you're not sure if there's a video for your particular problem or topic you want to know more about, then add Painless360 to the Google search term that you're interested in, and that should find the video, article, or content about the particular thing that you're interested in having a look at.